Thank you very much, Mr. Hunder. I'm speaking with a, with a little constraint, and you'll be thankful for my constraint. We are in Canada in something that's called the writ period. We are uh, coming up to federal elections on the 19th of October, and that means that during that period, uh, public officials, including ambassadors, are allowed to say nothing new, controversial, or interesting. Uh, so, uh, but that is actually quite easy, puts me in an easy situation after Mr. Saakashvili, uh, Madame Gontrav, and Mr. Shimkiv, they've already taken care of all those three categories, so I am left with old, boring, and brief. Uh, so I can say something in the, that in the Canadian context is entirely uncontroversial, and that is that we have firm cross-party support for Ukraine from Canada, its government, and Canadians. That has translated itself into practical measures. That includes the military training now happening at the Avaru base. It includes the new police, uh, where we're working with our American and Japanese uh, counterparts in launching that. You may ask, what connection has that to the macro economy? Certainly, it's an indirect connection, but it is creating the security architecture uh, to create the environment that uh, will be attractive for investors. More directly relevant, uh, we have allocated 26 million Canadian dollars. Indeed, we are one of the biggest contributors to reform at the National Bank of Ukraine, uh, both directly and through the International Monetary Fund. And thus, we believe that we have helped uh, Governor Gontareva and the bank navigate successfully through what has been a very difficult year. Uh, Canada's provided $400 million in macrofinancial support over the last 18 months, and we have successfully completed negotiations on a free trade agreement. This is the first one uh, concluded under the current Ukrainian government. Uh, more locally, uh, we're looking forward to working with uh, the Odessa administration on local economic development, investment attraction, fruit and vegetable marketing, helping people find, small and medium producers find new markets and uh, enter national and international value chains. And more broadly for Ukraine, we look forward to continuing macro and micro economic progress that will encourage major Canadian money managers who have already been sniffing around, already looking at the country to take the plunge and of course, I in that invite all of you to join in that process as well. Thank you.